Hi there, welcome to Unraveling Data. Today we are going to talk on a tip in Tableau where we are look, going to look at the navigation from a Tableau server point of view. And uh, so here, this view which I have in front of me, this is the sample superstore data set. Dashboard 1 is the analysis of the customers based on sales. Dashboard 2 is the analysis of customers based on profit. Now this is a split, uh, split view where I have a customer analysis but the first dashboard pertains to sales and the second dashboard pertains to profit. Now what I want to do here is navigate from dashboard 1 to dashboard 2 by, the, by clicking on a button. So and, and again I want to navigate back from dashboard 2 to dashboard 1 by clicking on a button. So how, how we can achieve this in Tableau? So let's let's give you a demo on this. Let's get started. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll create a sheet here. Click on this first uh, icon, this, this symbol for a sheet. You click on this, a uh, blank sheet gets created. Now what I'll do is I'll create a calculator field here. And I'll rename this field as go to profit view. So basically what I'm trying to do within this sheet is I'm trying to create a button with this information on the button. So now I have this calculation. So I'll, I'll drag it to the marks bar. So I, I got this icon here. Let me hide the sheet right here. So I can hide the title. Now um, I want to make it as a square because that will be more closer to the shape of a button. I'll make it a label. I got something here. I'll go to size. I'll get the size here. I'll drag this icon. Drag, drag it, and this is how uh, it, it gets displayed. Now, there's a problem with the alignment. To fix this, we'll go to label. So because this is a label here and we, we click on this central alignment and I got this text at the center of this, this particular piece here. Now for instance if I want a black color font I can have this different shade so let me take the darker shade here and go to profit view. Now I want to have a lighter uh, background color so here I go and I, I can have this looks apt here so now I got my button here so let me rename this as navigation button now similarly uh, I want to create one more calculation where I want to come back to the sales view A new sheet. We rename this sheet as navigation tool. Repeat the same steps. I type in square here, increase the size, make it a label, drag this box and elongate this uh, square and fix the alignment and uh, change the background as well. Now we, we have two buttons. Now see how we can accomplish this task. So I want to go to profit view. Let me make the floating uh, type of page. Drag it here. Now have it again. And here go to fit and have it in the entire view. Now drag and work on the size. Proper one. 
it here. Now, again, I'll go to dashboard two and uh, navigation. Now, floating is selected. The page which I'll drag will be a floating type. Two buttons. So we, we can work on the size of this button. See, width and height is 170, 27. The buttons here I can you know, hide all sheets, hide uh, the, the unnecessary tabs. Just one and two. Now uh, I want to create the navigation action here. Go to dashboard actions, add an action, filter action, navigation. action and navigation with profit. Now the navigation is coming from the navigation sheet. I want to go navigate to dashboard 2. I select dashboard 2 here. I want to apply action on any of the sheets sheets and it's fine with going to the dashboard itself. This is the action of filter which I have here. So now okay we are we are done with the action. Let me go to dashboard 2 Repeat the same steps here. Action, add an action, filter action, select from dashboard to from this navigation sheet to dashboard one. Yep, we are now fine with the let me rename this as Navigation. With two saves. The name of my action filter. Now we are good with action here as well. Now let us test how how does it work. So now you are there in the profit view. When you click here, you are there back back to the sales view. Now when you click it the second time, this is a, a workaround, uh, so so to say, so the second time when you click this, this element is selected. So first you have to unselect this element and then you will have to apply the action, you have to click again to apply the action filter. So this is one of the uh, limitations as far as navigation is concerned, but I think we can do with this it's as long as you mention in your help I mess icon or message that either you can click once to navigate or you can click twice with a pause and uh, this is how this is achieved so uh, one more thing uh, adding something extra and, and deviating a little bit from here so if you are aware of this uh, URL parameters for iframe tags so when you so actually we, we when you publish to a table server environment so you would you have to select the show uh, selections as tabs based on the sheets that you are selecting so only then would this uh, navigation be effective now what if you want to have all your dashboards within the same tab so uh, even after navigating when you click on this button the new page would load in the same tab and you want no new tabs to open and even you don't want to have the uh, the, the elements which are coming at the top so so what do you do so here you have this uh, option which is called iframe tags so when you 
add this to the end of the URLs. You can uh, you can have just one tab, and all your report would come within the same tab. So so even if it is a action filter or a navigation, this tag would remain. So here I think the most apt would be the embed tag. So this is the You see here, engage. Okay, let me go back to iframe tags. Yeah. So we have this embed here. So we you have usually have a top navigation area, a kind of a ribbon where you have the different tab names. So you want to do away with that. So you need to add this at the uh, at the end. Embed is equal to yes. And one more thing is the session. Uh, number so you need to get rid of this part iid uh, is equal to whatever number would be there so this is uh, a part of the help uh, tab to help so you can search this information look up there and look up the different options uh, you can have embed list there you can look at this and uh, again there's one more option for tabs so have tabs is equal to embed is equal to yes and tabs is equal to no and you would have a very uh, it could be embedded within the page and it would be would look very clean interface within the same tab and there'll be extra elements would not be visible so that's all for this tip for from my side thanks all for watching this video and like and subscribe to my channel if you like the video thanks